Alright everyone, welcome to another Zith production and today we are going to be going over the solo dolo of Adamantite Dragons, otherwise known as Adamant Dragons at the end of Dragon Slayer 2. Now, as you see on the right, I have all the equipment that you'll be needing. They're not like Rim Dragons where you're needing specific boots because of their static discharge attack, but here's the inventory. You're going to be needing an antidote because Adamant Dragons take poison, so yes like all other poisonous things bring an antidote and you're also wanting to bring an anti-fire of some kind with a dragon fire shield now you can swap this out for an avernant defender but i advise having dragon fire ward and you're wanting to use it on prey mage as well just like rune dragons or maybe it's prey range i'm not quite certain you can wiki it if you want but yes let's go ahead and gear up my actual main and get the inventory set up. It's quick and easy if you have everything already layered. So we're gonna get some house teleports because my house is set up for my alt zith itself to use. So let's see what else are we needing. Oh yes, the lick through teleports. So we got them right here. Then you're wanting your pots. One, two, three. One, one, and one of these. Oh, it looks like it looks like we're lagged out here. Might be knocked out of the game if it don't auto restore. I've been having this lately. Have y'all? Oh, where is lag and delay? I'm not. Sh I'm not quite sure. See, there we are. Connection loss. Connection loss on both of them. And we're back. Okay. Sorry about that. It was an interruption of the internet. So let's quickly get back in there. All right. Now, as I was saying, you need your pots. At least three prayer, anti fire, super combat, and, and antidote or anti venom, whichever you prefer to use. And then, you know, your food, whichever choice dark crab or, you know, sharks. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer to use dark crab because, you know, t 2 HP goes a long way per hill. You can mix them with Karamblin and see if you want because, you know, they can stack you out, but, yeah, let's get on with the show, shall we? Oh, misclick. You can also use, you know, your keyboard for the number three if you uh, remap your key bindings and everything. Like, I have my key bindings where I can use the WASD keys to move the camera around. But, anyway, on with the show. Might do a brief video sooner or later on you know the plugins I use but yeah let's go ahead and get everybody synced up and there we go we're ready now the same as with the room dragons you want to use your quick prayers have them set up and here we are going right in let's go ahead and pot and then pot See, that's what happens when you do not uh, get rid of their, get out of their spit range, because they spit it at you. And you can see it coming, but, you know, best dodge it. See, there we go. Then it splatters and it hits, so kind of move away. It's kind of like uh, Alchemical Hydra, if you've done that one before. And then it sounds like the uh, armadillo crossbow going off when it does one special on you. That's the healing spec that it's using. And it's always good to have kind of low HP. Hey, a dragon place card. Well, you know, first kill. Adamant arrows. And no, these do not drop noted adamantite bars. And no, their value is not that well for farming. We really want to fight and kill this for is its slice piece because it's worth anywhere from about 55 to 65 million right now according to how bad a player is wanting it. But yeah, we're just demonstrating that it is doloable. You know, you just got to be on your toes and just watch your HP. It's better to keep your HP low also because it does heal off of the amount of HP you have. So the higher HP you have, the more damage it's gonna do to you, just forewarning. But 
I try and keep around 60, 50 HP. Because that, that's a good ratio. Let's see, and it's that one that does quite a big hit. So, keep your HP kind of low. Don't be scared. They can't kill you right off the bat. And I don't know exactly how many kills we could possibly get. See, I didn't even see that one. It sprayed it on me so quickly it hit. But, yeah. Oh, got all those hits. Alright, did a 10, heal up. Alright, it's almost dead. Turn the prayer on, shall we? <laughs> I think that's been my whole problem for my aunt. Didn't even click prayer on. Oof. There we go. Another one dead. Dragon javelin heads. I ain't even worrying about clicking the click up. Well, I might as well. I got enough room. Alright, go ahead and unload. Let's see, Dark Crab. Unload real quick. Alright. almost dead. Sorry that I'm going in and out of talking. Kind of hard to concentrate a little bit when doing adamant dragons. You gotta be on your toes. It's also good to pick up the adamant play bodies because you know they sell for about 10k so that's about a 10k cash tag. I know a lot of people can use that. Let's see, what do we get? Wrath Talisman. Might as well, for collection purposes. Oof, the alt didn't make it that well because I had the prayer off for so long. So we're gonna have to end up teleporting soon on it. But this was just basically a trial run as well, just to see if I could do it and showcase myself doing it and might, you know, get others in the urge of wanting to do it. Just play yourself, see which account gets it first. Oh, see, look, accidentally died. But it's okay. We got a quick bank to get to. Let's go ahead and teleport on this guy so he don't die. But I think, you know... I think you got quite a bit of uh, an understatement that it's easy. No, it is not easy. As you saw, I quickly got stacked out. But that's the name of the game. Get good. Let's go quickly get that back. See how much it costs. Pretty sure it's going to be under 100000 Go silly. Yeah, you give me that bottle. Let's see. Sometimes go I just have, have a this intuition that... I know he's doing something naughty. How are you doing this? Because somehow your show. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go inside and get it. How did your show get it? It's not like Poopy in here. It could be again. And loot. Okay. Let's pick up the extended. This would like be actually in. good for a death pile. Surely this is not the. Alright. Come here. Did you poop again? Let's see what we got. Put back the gear. How much was the damage? 42,000. Okay, that is not bad for a death cost. Death beat. So, let's go ahead and shake. Uh, even with the 42 death, I might K 
technically finished. Not yet, at least. Oh, I can't give it all. I don't, I don't know why I was showing the clip button on death rooms. Let's see, 33k right there, that pretty much paid for the death cost, and that was the profit even on a death. So, as long as you're not, you know, trying to distract yourself for too much and you focus on two accounts or three if you think you're good enough, then for sure, Adamant Dragons can be uh, worth a little bit because, you know, they have the same scale as Rune Dragons. Just uh, limb, slice, and yeah, I say, I say it's pretty much worth it. In the long scheme of things, Adamant Dragons could be pretty profitable with two to three accounts going at the same time. But with that, uh, this little guide is done, and I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe, and possibly share it around. Alright, zip out.